Oh, welcome back everybody. Gonna do a quick PVC update. Um, there's not a ton that's changed and I just wanted to review, go over some of the things I'm doing or I'm going to be doing and what I've done just as kind of a reminder and also and a reminder just for myself. Um, also want to say thank you very much for everyone that's commented, just kind of sharing their um, experiences or what they've done. It's helped me add to my list and uh, things that I want to try. And uh, like I've said in other videos, it's just, it's a huge help for me to just uh, relate and to talk with people, almost like a, like a group, like a group therapy type of thing. Um, I'm still waiting on my halter results. I had an appointment to follow up in july but that was canceled they canceled it not me and uh, i don't go back till september 12th it's just a video appointment and with that i'm hoping that the halter shows that uh, i'm just getting them at night because that would um indicate that it is maybe anxiety driven or at least to me that's what it is sorry for the background noise i'm watching my daughter and she's got her little play thing over there um i also did a sleep apnea test because i i am especially at night i'm a mouth breather um i don't have a lot of the other signs i do snore just a little bit but i wanted to rule that out because sometimes sleep apnea can be um a trigger for pvcs it, it was it was kind of a long shot but um through the through the va it was free um and it doesn't hurt, especially because, I, like I said, I, I don't exhibit a lot of the signs of it, but I do have some, like I'm not real overweight. Um, and my snoring's not real bad. Um, but yeah, I'm wait, waiting on the results of that. That's the same day as the, um, the halter results. I'm waiting for that because that could indicate it. Um, and something I, I don't think I mentioned in any of my other videos, um, I obviously get the PVCs at most when at rest. Like right now I'm sitting here um and they're back to i was doing like i was getting them like one every 10 beats one every like 100 it was awesome for like maybe a week a couple weeks there but now they're they're back to like one every three one every five beats when it rests and um it's kind of discouraging but you know i, I try to stay positive and uh, just keep trying everything keep keep doing what i'm doing um like with the running and all that kind of stuff but also try to incorporate new things not i'll go over that but um you yeah, one thing i don't think i mentioned was that when i bend over um i get them real you know you're definitely you're getting them like every other beat then where you can really feel them so i don't know if other people are um experiencing that as well i asked my cardiologist i'm like you know and I, is this something else like i bend over and say i'm just like no so I don't know, I thought maybe there was like pressure on the heart or maybe, you know, a large heart and that's why when you bend over you do this. But uh, according to my, you know, I, I obviously don't know what I'm talking about. So and my echo came back that everything was normal. So, but I just want to mention that in case other people get that when they bend over, they get it. So I try to kneel down instead of bending over, which helps. You can hear her now. Um, so what am I still doing daily? Um, I'm still elevating my heart rate, I'm running. 15 to 20 minutes are jogging really i'm not really running but i'm elevating that uh every day um if i don't jog i like cut wood or or do something uh, move wood just so my heart rate is is elevated keep that up and that still seems to be the best thing like for a couple hours later i still get the pvcs but mentally it helps me and also i, I feel like the frequency is down um, still taking magnesium, the 450 milligrams of that. Um, just give me one second, I gotta check with her. I'm also drinking um, lemon water. I do like half a lemon, squeeze that in because that was somebody's comment, so I've been doing that. I've actually done that for qu quite some time, so I'm doing that every day. Somebody also mentioned eating, um, I think it was an, a, a full avocado a day. I know there's a lot of good stuff in that. I'm doing like half of one. I'll do some uh, cliche avocado toast with some good spices in there and uh I either do it for breakfast or lunch and that's pretty good um I've, I haven't been doing that long so I haven't really seen any results of, of that it's only been a couple days but I'm hoping just that natural uh whatever the good stuff in avocado it can help out um still on the Mediterranean diet you know Mediterranean diet has very limited dairy in it there's some feta and some cheese and stuff like that but it's very limited um 
I've even limited that even more. I've almost completely uh, cut out dairy because there's some other there's another guy's videos out there that talks about it. Um, he doesn't do a lot on PVCs. He just has like one that he said, "Hey man, I cut out dairy and I didn't get these things anymore." And other people have mentioned that. So I figured it was worth a shot. Like I said, um, Mediterranean diet limits um, dairy a lot anyway, but I'm, I'm taking it one, one step further. So far that, that doesn't really seem to me make any difference, but I'm gonna stick with that. Um, and also with the Mediterranean diet, there's a lot of olive oil that's used. And I try to even go a little above that. <clears throat> Somebody had said to put like a teaspoon of or tablespoon of olive oil and some warm lemon juice and that'll really let your body take it in but as you know wa water and oil don't mix so taking it down is kind of goofy I, I try to just incorporate it more with like if I'm having eggs in the morning or something I just I, I sprinkle some on there to get it in um, another comment that somebody made uh, was they dunked their face in ice water so that, that's something I haven't done yet, but I'm going to incorporate that, try that every day. I don't know if that like um, kind of does like a shock effect to your body. So maybe your heart kind of gets back in, uh, into, um, I don't know, just kind of stuns it or whatever. Not stuns it, that's the wrong word, but kind of, you kind of get that shock effect. There's a name to it, I forget what that's called, when your body has that like defensive or scared response. Um, if I could jump into a, a cold lake every day, that'd be all right. That's probably something I could do. Um, not necessarily a lake, but I, I could get a little water thing. But yeah, dunking my face in ice water. Um, and I know some of this sounds weird, but I'm really just willing to try whatever. You know, like I said in the other videos, I'm really trying to avoid the ablation, which is the, the surgery. Even though that is um, very safe, if you are getting that, you know, that's like 98 percent of people that have it um come out come out the other side um healthy and doesn't necessarily always uh, fix your heart issues but you wake up from the surgery and, and you're fine you're, you know you're healthy you're still alive um so it's a very high success rate but i know people personally that have had it done that hasn't fixed uh, my aunt has had it done twice no luck fiction but that's for afib um and I have uh, some friends that have had it done for other things, different heart arrhythmias or a persistent AFib fix, fix that. Um, but that person has a couple other issue, issues, including the PVCs is one of them. Um, I still haven't followed, I haven't done anything with uh, therapy, which is something I don't personally think I, I need. Because like I've said in other videos, I don't feel anxious. Um, definitely not depressed. Um, but I do think just, uh, I have health anxiety. That, that's what I've kind of zoned in on. I think I have health anxiety and just anxiety with, with having a daughter worrying about her and all that stuff. It's all subconscious. So I haven't um, followed up with, not followed up, I haven't taken that step. So that's still something else I need to do. Um, but yeah, as far as an update, like I said, we're, I'm, I'm waiting on those halter results. That's the big one, because depending on what those are can kind of, help me narrow it and if it you know if I'm not getting at night like I've said I really think it's an anxiety thing and I can go go forward with that um and just a reminder there's some other things out there people people where marijuana is legal people do that um to help them with the PVC sometimes that can actually trigger them so you got to be careful there but CBD is another one the, these I've not tried but um people have had different um success rates with that and I just want to mention them as so if you watch this and you're thinking for idea or looking for ideas to help you out this can be another one um one that uh somebody mentioned was uh box breathing technique so that's something else I am going to look into um that seems like probably easy enough something like you can do and also um I could up my cardio up my you know do it for a longer period of time at a faster pace I do have asthma, so it's a little harder um, to do it faster, but I could probably do it longer. So those are some some other things I'm throwing out there, just if anybody's looking for uh, any other ideas. But I wanted to keep this short, so thank you again to everyone who's commenting um, and watching. I appreciate it. I hope these help me putting them out, just talking about it like this, talking myself to a camera, but it helps me out. And your comments really do help me. Um, help me as well just with different ideas and just relating to that so thank you again for being here and uh, we'll see you again hopefully soon